So when I was here today, I got the impression that it's like law enforcement is actually being held to a lower standard than the general public because it seems that like the lorry list is based on things that would be considered credible criminal activity if a regular person was accused of them. Um, and so like, I don't know, maybe I, I like was getting the wrong impression from what was being presented, but is it is it currently seeming the process that we actually hold law enforcement to a lower standard than the general public in terms of like their negative activities being made public? That's our position. Well, there's more secrecy relating to law enforcement, and it's not certainly generally not criminal activity that we're talking about, but it's issues of credibility and trustworthiness. That's what's at issue here. So that would be uh, pertaining to submitting false evidence or false reports or? That's correct, and if it is criminal activity, law enforcement generally does do the right thing. But this is not so much talking about criminal activity, although that is included, but it's also any issue of trustworthiness and credibility. All right. Um, and do you believe that uh, it's better to, do you think that the police yes, are... Go. If anyone wants to have a Bloody Mary with me, let me know. <laughs> Do you think uh, the, the police actually can be trusted to kind of police and investigate themselves, or if it would be better to have a sort of like third party uh, sort of investigation when there are these sorts of issues? Because there does seem to be a lot of secrecy. The third party is the public at large. But we have the right to know whether or not investigations are proceeding in the way that they should or not. And thank you. You're uh, Attorney Sullivan, correct? Correct. Cool. Thank you for your time. Okay.